Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be watching and I will be reacting to um, a heated exchange between <sighs> Texas GOP representative Louis Gomer, hopefully I pronounced that right, and FBI agent Peter Stoltz. Um, this happened apparently four years ago um, and this is where Gomer um, calls Stoltz a liar, an embarrassment, a disgrace, and questions how he could look so innocently into his wife's eyes. So without further ado, let's go ahead and watch this drama. It's going to be crazy. You said earlier in this hearing you were concerned about a hostile foreign power affecting our election. Do you recall the intelligence community Oops. inspector general Chuck McCulloch having an investigation into an anomaly found on Hillary Clinton's emails? I do not. Well, let me reflect, refresh your recollection. The intelligence community inspector general Chuck McCulloch sent his investigator Frank Rucker we've got, we've, we've got. along with an ICIG attorney Jeanette McMillan to brief you and Dean Chappelle and two other FBI personnel that I won't name at this. Look at him like comment with the facts like he knows this man is going to like lie he comment look how like strong and how he with conviction he says those names yeah time about an anomaly they had found on hillary clinton's emails that were going to and from the private unauthorized server that you were supposed to be investigating now do you remember it I remember meeting Mr. Rucker on either one or two occasions. I do not remember the specific content or discussions. Well, I'll help you with that, that too, then. The is Mr. Rucker reported to those of you, the four of you there, in the presence of the IC, IG attorney, that they had found this anomaly on Hillary Clinton's emails going through a private server. And when they had done the forensic analysis, they found that her emails, every single one except for four, over 30,000 of them, were going to an address that was not on the distribution list. It was a compartmentalized bit of information that was sending it to an unauthorized source. Do you recall that? Sir, I don't. Well, right. he went on to explain it, and he must be really bad at his job. <laughs> and you, you didn't say anything. No. You thanked him. You shook his hand. But the problem was that it was going to an unauthorized source that was a foreign entity, unrelated to Russia. And from what you've said here. You did nothing more than nod and shake the man's hand when you didn't seem to be all that concerned about our national integrity of our election when it was involving Hillary Clinton. Do you guys like, oh my God, I hope, I hope you guys can see this little mouse. Don't those look like horns, thorn, like horns you would see coming out like a demon? So the forensic examination was done by the ICIG, and they can document that, but you were given that information and you did nothing with it. And one of the things I found most egregious should be fired. with Mr. Horowitz's testimony, and by the way, Horowitz got a call four times by someone wanting to brief him, leaving messages telling him about this, and he never returned the call. He had 500 pages of bias that he gave us, and then he threw a bone to the Democrats and said, but we can't find bias. And let me tell you, when you have text messages, Mr. Strzok, the way you do, saying the things you did, 
you'd been better off coming in here and say, look, that was my bias. And you kind of get around to that a little bit when you say, hey, uh, you know, everybody's got political views. Those are called biases. And we all have them. And you have come in here and said, I had no bias. And you do it with a straight face. And I watched you in the, in the private testimony you gave. And I told some of the other guys, he is really good. He's lying. He knows. We know he's lying. And he could probably pass a polygraph. Point. It's amazing. Mr. Chairman. No, this is my Mr. Time. Chairman, I'm sorry. I, point, to be of paused. Point, point of order. This point of order. No. The general of state is point of order. A member of this committee just asserted that this witness who is under oath and a former agent of the FBI lied. There is no way of Oh, so he did get fired. Oh, great. Because that would have been really weird had he stayed on the force. What is that? I asked him to withdraw it. I do not withdraw it. He is not a member of Congress. It's not a violation of the rule. And just as you have been expressing bias through your members about what a hero there is not a single person on this committee who has ever characterized a witness. Gentleman from lied. Rhode Island. The gentleman it's before my time. That's a disgrace. Gentleman from Rhode Island will suspend. Him. Gentlemen. No, the disgrace. Mr. Is Mr. What this man has done. The gentleman from justice. Texas will suspend for a there moment. Is the disgrace. And it won't be recaptured anytime soon because of the damage you've done to the justice system. And I've talked to FBI agents around the country. You've embarrassed them. You've embarrassed yourself. And I can't help but wonder when I see you looking there with a little smirk, how many times did you look so innocent into your wife's eye and lie to her about oh, Lisa? Mr. Oh, Chairman, this is outrageous. The credibility of a witness. Yo, this man turned. Shame it's always on you. An issue. Mr. And you Chairman, please. Have have you Mr. Know. Chairman, this is intolerable oh, harassment of the witness. What is wrong with that? You need your medication. The gentleman. Did you take your medication? Let's go back. He said, did you take your medication? <laughs> Yo, this old man's hurt. <laughs> don't mess with Texas. Yo, you don't mess around with Texas. Yo. <laughs> Don't mess with Texas. Come in with that bullshit. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, let's look. I gotta go back. I gotta go back, y'all. That that was just priceless. He says you're a liar. You're an embarrassment. And how could you look at your wife? <laughs> oh shit, he went old school in it. Okay, okay, okay. Let's watch it again. And I've talked to FBI agents around the country. You've embarrassed them. You've embarrassed yourself. And I can't help but wonder when I see you looking there with a little smirk, how many times did you look so innocent into your wife's eye <laughs> and lie to her about uh, Lisa? Mr. Chairman, this is outrageous. The credibility of a witness. Oh, you your eyes. Mr. You Chairman, please. Have have you Mr. Know. Chairman, this is intolerable <laughs> harassment of the witness. What's wrong with that? You need your medication. The gentleman <laughs> controls the time. I ask that the witness be permitted to respond. Well, to he, will be permit, he will be permitted. Did you to ever respond. talk to Hillary Clinton time. during your investigation? Besides the one questioning you mentioned, before that or after that, to this day. Point of order, Mr. Chairman. Point of order, Mr. Chairman. The general state is point of order. I hate it. It is. I think against the rules of the House for a member of the committee to be impugning the character of a witness. It is he should, not. He should ask questions to elicit. The purpose of this hearing is to elicit information. He looks like a little turtle. <laughs> he should ask questions to elicit information. He should not be impugning the character uh, of the witness. The gentleman is advised the rules of the House only are directed to members of the House and the President of the United States. The, Therefore, in other words, it is okay to impugn the character of witnesses in, in any way whatsoever? Well, I, I, listen, I've heard many members on your side of the aisle impugn the character of somebody who is covered by gotcha. the rules of the House. But gotcha. the gentleman, the, 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 the gentleman uh, has 20 seconds left. The clock will be turned back on and he can complete his time and then the witness can... Oh, look, y'all, they are not happy. I bet, like, well, all those who were anti-Trump you know, Democrats um, or just and you know conservatives who are 
anti-Trump too, or just a lot of people in, in politics are just anti-Trump. They were sitting in this meeting. I'm pretty sure they were all like butt hurt when oh, what's that chairman say? Good latte. Yes, yes, Mr. Good Latte said, hey, no, he is not. He is just a regular person. He does not have um, these immunities. Sorry, that's not in the realm of. And respond. Don't care if we hurt your feelings. <laughs> so if you talk to Hillary other than Hillary Clinton, other than the time she was examined in front of the witnesses. No. So after throwing away what you have with all the bias you have, you've never even gotten a thank you. I yield back. The gentleman may respond. Sir, well, that's quite a set of statements. Mr. Chairman, sure I did not respond. finish with a question. The gentleman, there was no question asked. Uh, chairman, no he's been given the opportunity to respond. The gentleman, the gentleman will suspend. The time of the gentleman has expired. And as I've indicated earlier. The rules earlier, of our hearings yep. are if there is a question asked during the time, the witness may respond to the question the after is, the time. The witness is going to be allowed to respond briefly. That's a new rule. <laughs> Sir. First, I assure no you, question. under oath, as I spoke also during my That's interview a week or two ago, I have always told the truth. The fact that you would accuse me otherwise, the fact that you would question whether or not that was the sort of look I would engage with in a family member who I have acknowledged hurting goes more to a dis- Oh, so he did hurt his wife. Mm. Back. Discussion about your character and what you stand for and what is going inside you. It's to your credibility and, and you lost your credibility. Both, both I, while I doubted, lost your credibility. While I doubt it plays the well America, from Texas will I'm not sure will, The well. gentleman from Texas will suspend. The witness has had ample opportunity to express his feelings about that, and now the chair recognizes. Mr. The chairman, there is a, there a discussion about the representative's first uh, assertion about what the ICIG said that I would like to respond to. Very briefly. Very briefly. I have no recollection of that conversation. I can tell you I am not a computer forensic expert. I can tell you that every allegation that we had, and ICIG was a great and close partner, every allegation that we had, whether from them or anybody else, was forwarded to experts who looked at it. The scores and scores of servers and Blackberries and emails and everything we got were combed over carefully by the FBI's experts to see if there's any indicia of injury. But you don't recall going saying, over sir, those emails, uh, correct? Much Gentlemen, saying, will suspend. I have no idea what you're talking about, and frankly, and the, just and the witness will wrong. suspend as well. I do not know what you're talking about. That, that is just enough. can't let a witness the, go on forever. The, when the fact is, you never did Mr. anything Chairman, about those, <laughs> order. correct? Regular Mr. order. Chairman! Chairman, stop it! <laughs> this is like political theater. You didn't do anything well, was, about it. Was it sir, so, if there was a lead, I gave it to the team. Unequivocally. The gentleman, there was nothing along Mr. the lines Strzok, that you was will not suspend. addressed. Well, that will come out. Mr. Gomer, enough. you will suspend. <laughs> Mr. Deutsch. <laughs> Slow roasted. Oh. That. Mm. How did I miss this? How did I miss that? How did I not? I mean, well, to my, you know, recollection, back in 2016, I literally just graduated undergrad. I wasn't really into like politics or any of that stuff. I didn't really get into politics until I had finished my master's degree and then had to get a real job where I started making real money. Cause I did have a job after my undergrad. It was only around like $50,000. Like, uh, wasn't, it was an IT job. It wasn't, uh, it, the pay was great, especially if you're single I, and, and it afforded me travel and stuff like that. So, um, I basically traveled and fixed networks. That was pretty cool job. Um, but I will say this, once you get higher in the bracket, oh, and your your uh, refund checks don't be looking like they did when you weren't paying or when you weren't getting paid a lot. Oh, oh yeah, you look at uh, you you get into politics real quick. You'd be like, yo 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 yo. 
Why are our refunds checks looking a little light? Uh, do I need to start um, looking into taxes and tax codes and getting myself an attorney, getting myself a tax attorney or a tax accountant just to look at my stuff, especially I'm like, yo, I, 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 something, don't, something don't look right here, something don't look right here. So I am very um, vocal um, when it comes to capitalism. <laughs> And socialism now when it comes to politics, uh, or just when it just anyone who talks about socialism, yo, know, it just like, oh, I'm repulsed by it because I'm like, y'all are just nothing but thieves. But this is how I was like, I started paying attention to politics. It always comes down to money, yo. Doesn't matter. It always comes down to moolah. <laughs> but, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that because I was definitely did like understand why we don't play with Texas you do not play with Texas <laughs> okay until next time goodbye